Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. This episode is about Porima, a double star in the constellation Virgo, the Maiden. In my video on the constellations of spring, I mentioned Porima as a double star to look for in Virgo. That I said you could split into its component parts with a moderate telescope. Actually, you cannot always split Porima because of its highly erratic orbit. So in this episode, I thought I would expatiate on Porima. The Gamma star, or third brightest star in Virgo, is Gamma Virginis and is also known as Porima. Porima is a binary star. Binary stars are two stars that are gravitationally bound to each other and that orbit each other. The orbit of some binary stars can be hundreds or thousands of years and are therefore poorly understood or unknown. But some binary stars have short orbits. Porima's two stars have an orbit of 168.9 years. However, the orbit is highly erratic such that at times it's not possible to split the two stars into their component parts because they're too close together. If two stars are less than one arc second apart, you won't be able to split them with an Earth-based amateur telescope. You would need special techniques, such as adaptive optics, to account for atmospheric seeing, because even if your telescope has a resolving power using the Dawes limit, of under one arc second, such as this telescope, it's only a theoretical resolving power under ideal conditions. And the fact of the matter is that you won't be able to split two stars that are closer than one arc second apart due to atmospheric seeing. Up until 1995, the two stars in Porima were 2.5 arc seconds apart. Tough, but achievable on a night of good seeing. Then they started to get closer, and by 2005, they were under one arc second apart and impossible to split until 2020, when they again became two arc seconds apart. And currently, I'm recording this in 2023, the two stars of Parima are three or maybe four arc seconds apart and relatively easy to split on a night of good seeing with a moderate telescope. So what I said in Guide to the Constellations of Spring was correct. You can split Porima with a moderate telescope, but you can even split it right now with a small telescope. And tonight, I'm going to do just that. I have an eight inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope here. And if it's clear and the seeing is good and the transparency is good, let's see if we can split Porima. The two stars in Porima are of nearly equal magnitude at magnitude 3.6 and 3.7, and they're both main sequence stars. They're 39 light years away, and also Porima is very close to the ecliptic, only 2.8 degrees north of it, and therefore it is occasionally occulted by the moon, and rarely even by a planet. But tonight, we just want to look at Porima and split it. To find Porima, let's find Spica, the brightest star in Virgo, the Maiden. Go to the handle of the Big Dipper and arc to Arcturus, the bright star in Boates, and from Arcturus, speed to Spica. Once you find Spica, then you just go northwest or up and to the right about 15 degrees toward the bowl of Virgo that contains all those galaxies to third magnitude Porima, which should be visible to the naked eye. After it gets dark, we're going to split Porima. Okay, it's dark now, and I have Porima in my telescope. I'm starting out with a 36 millimeter eyepiece. That gives me 56 times magnification. And it just looks like one star. So I'm very excited because this is the first time I'm going to get to use my brand new, I splurged, I've wanted this for a long time, Teleview 10 millimeter Ethos, 100 degree. 
So let's put that in there. Oh my goodness. Yep, I split it. <laughs> Looks great. Wow, I didn't even have to refocus. This is a great eyepiece. Oh my goodness. They're just like this. They look like two headlamps. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Yes, you can split Porimo with a moderate size telescope. I wish I could show you with my 80 millimeter. I have looked at it before. You'll have to just trust me because it's getting cloudy and I don't want to set it up. But I have looked at it and right now you can split Porima with an 80 millimeter refractor. So give it a try. I should have mentioned that with the 10 millimeter eyepiece that gives me 200 times magnification. Maybe I could split it with less magnification than that, but <laughs> that's what I'm using. And it split it easily, and I love this eyepiece. <laughs> to find poor Rima, go to the last door in the handle of the Big Dipper, Alcade, and Arc to Arcturus, that bright star on the right side of the screen. And from Arcturus, you're going to go down like an arrow to another bright star, magnitude one, Spica. And once you find Spica, which is kind of blocked by that branch, this is a terrible place to stargaze, uh, go up 15 degrees, that's the distance between your index finger and your pinky to a magnitude 3 star and that's Porima. So this place where I am is not very good for stargazing but with double stars it doesn't have to be terrific. It just, you just need good seeing. Um, so I'm gonna sketch it but honestly I couldn't see much even with my 100 degree field of view. I only saw two stars underneath it and then one very dim one above it, but I'll show you my sketch. I tried to take a picture with the camera, but I, I can't resolve it with my camera with a single shot. Um, so uh, I only have a sketch to show you, but that'll give you a pretty good idea of what to expect. So take advantage of the fact that you can currently, as of 2023, split Porima, double star in Virgo, with a small telescope. I think it needs to be at least 60 millimeters. Um, and so, I hope you enjoyed this brief episode on Porima, double star in Virgo. I'll see you soon. Until then, dark skies forever. Sula. Signing off.